I have something new to try here. These are Arteza metallic gouache colors. Arteza sent these over to me to try out. And I thought it sounded like it might be fun. So this is what we've got. 12 colors. We've got gold, silver, bronze, pearl bubble, which looks like this, this pink color, and pearl scarlet, pearl purple, aqua blue, emerald green, eucalyptus, noir, and white rose. Let's pick out a few of these to test out initially. So let's see, I got scarlet gold, white rose, aqua blue, emerald, and let's get one more. Let's try the bronze. Or is that too close to gold? Let's try silver. Let's see how that looks. Now, I just want to test these out first because I have no idea what they're going to look like. I don't use gouache a whole lot. I use it for some of my plein air excursions, but it's not part of my permanent uh, array of materials usually. And I definitely have never tried any metallic gouaches. Sounds like these could be fun for little bits of um, hand touches to prints or to art cards and things. I'm just squeezing out a little bit of each of these initial colors that I have pulled out to see what we are in for. Actually, let's just try with those three so far. So what I have here is the gold, the silver, let's put these in the order that I've got them, the gold, the silver, and the pearl white. That's what I've got here. One, two, three. And I'm trying it first undiluted. Well, actually, I have a little bit of water on my brush, so let's wipe that off first. And I thought that the gold might be useful also for blending gold leaf into background surroundings, which is what I sometimes use mica paints for. So it's very sparkly. Although, let's see, if I spread it out a little bit more, I get more of a gold metallic sheen to it and less of that sparkle look. I think. That is the gold. Let's try the silver. Now again, like all gold and silver pigments, I find that there's a bit of the glitter aspect to them because, just because of the way they're made. I mean, they have the small particles of metallic whatever. Probably mica is what is usually used in these kinds of things. So they have their place in painting. I, I generally like to use actual gold and silver leaf better because that gives you the actual metallic sheen versus the glitter look that using paints do. But I sometimes like using them for small areas or for adding just a little touch of something, a little touch of sparkle to a piece. <laughs> They can be fun if you're working with um, working on toned paper with ink. And this is the pearl one. 
It actually looks a lot, has a bit of that luster that pearls actually have. I'm gonna pull out the pink just to see if I can really simulate the look of a pearl with this. <laughs> and green. Ooh. Let's see, this is the eucalyptus. This is the light pale green, not the dark one. Oh, it's very, it's a very light green. It's closer in tone actually to this um, pearl luster one than it is to a green, green tone. Let's see how this pink is too. <laughs> I'm layering it on top of the stuff that I have over here already. So it's it's not, the under layers are not dry and things are blending out as I do this. But they blend pretty well. And it has this nice luster to them. See if I can move my light for you to see that better. There we go. Yeah, it has a very pearly look to it, pearlescent. I'd be interested to see how well I can use the gold to blend into actual metallic leaf. It's a little less opaque than I would have thought for gouache. I expected this to be much thicker. It feels like I need to apply a pretty concentrated amount of it to get that true metallic look. See, a second layer actually does a good job of that. So interesting to see how well the opacity holds up if I'm using a fine line brush where I'm not going to be doing broad layered areas because that would be most likely the use I would put these to is for doing little detail touches to something. So it, it's more gloppy and thick than watercolor metallic pigments are. So it looks like if I water it down a little bit, I can get much more fine lines going. There we go. And let's see how the metallic aspect of it is in those. Yeah, that works pretty well. 